What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT math from the Scalar Learning Channel and this video is all about how I got a perfect 800 on the SAT math section four times and I'm not talking about practice tests I'm talking about real bona fide SATs. By the way, before we begin, I just wanted to mention that you can also knock out the SAT math. And by the way, we're here to help you with our brand new, amazing SAT math video course is live. It's available and it's super affordable. It's only $15 a month on today because we're offering a discounted deal, normally $30 down 50%. You can sign up and cancel whenever you want, but we got four practice tests that you won't find anywhere else that I've custom curated, made them so similar to SAT actual math problems. Plus, each individual question comes with a specific video explanation that's short to the point in my teaching style so that you can get the absolute most out of this course. There's also critical concepts, amazing downloads, tons of stuff to make sure that you can get an 800 just like me. And last but not least, we even have an amazing meditation video that's going to help to calm your nerves and relieve that test anxiety. To sign up for the course, click on the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's do it. So again, when I say I got four perfect 800 scores, I really got four perfect 800 scores on real SATs that I actually registered for, spent my time on Saturdays going and taking them. And the last one was just in this last October. And I'm going to do it again in March. And I'm going to keep doing it every year because I love it. It's a blast. But there you go. That's four in the real deal under pressure, under time circumstances with a bunch of high school students around me. So it is what it is. Just want to show you this quick screenshot. So now let's get into how I've done it. What are the key points? Points. And there are five key points. The first and most important is practice, practice, practice. Now, obviously, I've practiced a lot above and beyond what any other person would do because of the fact that I'm a math tutor and I've got a YouTube channel where I'm always doing SAT math stuff. So I'm not saying that you need to do the same thing, but it is super important that you put in the time, spend the hours to take the practice test necessary to work out all the different errors that you might possibly make, all the different conceptual gaps so that you can go in and do your best. I've seen this simple tactic of practice, repetition, understanding your mistakes, and repeat work so many times for not only my individual clients, but also for students that just randomly hit me up and tell me about their SAT journeys using my channel. Practice is by far the most important thing. That's what I've done. That's what you need to do. Number two, I know all of the critical concepts. You simply can't perform at your best unless you know the critical concepts, and this includes all of the math formulas. This information is not kept secret by the College Board. They're very open and upfront in terms of what you need to know to be successful on the math section. If you haven't checked it out yet, we've got a whole series on YouTube all about all the critical concepts that you need and all of the important math formulas that you need as well. The onus is on you to know these like the back of your hand. And if you do, you will also have a shot of nailing an 800. Number three, I focus on real strategies, not all these strategies that all these guys try to pitch you and sell you to make you think that you don't need to know the math. You can just outthink the test takers and blah, blah, blah. No. Just learn the math. I don't do anything fancy. I keep it simple and I know the math. Now, within the math knowledge, within each of the sections, within each of the question types, of course, there are strategies, multiple strategies that you can use, but they're tied to the math. I don't run away from the math. I don't want students to run away from the math because you can do it. Don't let people make you think that you can't do the math and therefore you have to resort to these different strategies. It's nonsense. I've seen it over and over again. You just have to not let that fear take you over. Over. Give it a shot. Believe in yourself because I'm telling you, you can do it because I've seen it as long as you put in the work. So the question remains, why are all of these other folks peddling these kind of quick fix general strategies like elimination and stuff like that? Why? Two possible reasons. One, maybe they themselves don't actually know the math and feel that comfortable with it. It is a possibility. And the second one is I think it sells. It appeals to a lot of people that are afraid that do have math anxiety and want to hear how to outthink the test takers, etc. Don't fall for it. Trust me you can do it. Number four, I have a great calculator and not that I'm using my calculator that much, but I know I can rely on it. I love the TI-84. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but it's reliable and push comes to shove. If I need to graph something, if I need to look at something, I know how to do it. Now, if you can't get your hands on the TI-84, whatever calculator you have, I would make sure you're super familiar with it. So when you go in on test day, you don't make any little glitches. You don't miss a parenthesis here or there and mess up the order of operations. Finally, tip number five, I triple check all of my answers. So what does that mean? First of all, I go in and I solve it the way that comes to my mind first. That's usually the most organic approach, whatever pops into my head. I roll with that 
that very carefully and then I get my answer, match it with the answer choice, think about it, and that's my first check. My second check is I try to use some backup method, either plug the answer that I just found back into the equation or something like that if possible and make sure that it works out. My third check is after I've gone through the whole test, I usually have a nice little chunk of time where I can go back and try every single problem one more time. Now in this most recent attempt in October, there was actually a question, it was the very last question I believe of the calculator section that I had entered incorrectly and going through again, re-canvassing, I caught it. Now of course being able to triple check means you've gotta be fluid enough, you've gotta be comfortable enough with the math in order to have that time buffer. So again, this goes back to the first point, practice, practice, practice. That's how you're gonna develop your math chops to be able to have the luxury to double check, triple check, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more videos from the Scalar Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.